Hey y'all, what's going on zone? We're gonna find out right now any day away if we don't know. <laughs> we gonna find out anyway. The hook. Let's see. I keep hearing love songs all in my head. Especially when I'm asleep. <clears throat> I'm hearing specific love songs in my head. Let's find Let me see cuz it's like some old school slow R&B type of love. Now that's the love you want. That's the you don't want no no no. I was finna say Justin Bieber but fuck Justin Bieber. That motherfucker racist and shit. Anyway, look. Uh, you want some chill R&B. Okay, if you don't know about Justin, you better go look it up. <laughs> he tried to apologize. Y'all remember that shit? Uh, I literally just said his name because I literally looked at this damn song list. Um. Okay, it's like it's like a let's get married type of song. I got an R and B playlist right here that, that that looks very unfamiliar. Okay, tweet coming up. Is here okay quick tweet let's see we got hearts too loud at this time endless possibilities chris brown say goodbye no i'm not feeling that y'all know what i'm feeling right quick hold on This is what I was listening to last night. This song I'm about to play. This is what I was playing last night. So, this love is like a... some Either this is a masculine fi in 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 energy or a feminine energy that has realized... This is a love that he don't or she don't never want to let go. And since we always tapping into divine masculine energy, this is probably this, this fool. You know? We're going to get African goddesses out because they, they feel with so much love, so much guidance, so much clarity. Just, it's just a different vibe with this. Wait a minute. We got something that don't even need to be in there. It's time to take action, a time for healing. Emotions are running high and a win-win outcast, outcast is forecast. Oh, wait, a win-win outcome is forecast. Um. Okay. I got chills on that. Okay, this was me. Okay. Okay, spirit. <laughs> okay, spirit. <laughs> this is such a oof, child. Oh, my God. I have the feelings I get on this. The feelings I get on this. Somebody is so in love with your loving ass. Let's listen to the song for a minute. Feel a little stuck. Stuck on what? Mm. Grief through the storm. But this person got to live out loud and probably cut those cords. Period. Somebody's stuck in a family, but. It's a no for me because he really not stuck. He's cutting these cords for a family for you. 
the kid is about to ask him, where you going to my divine feminine? He going to tell her the truth. Okay, it's a her. It's a daughter. Okay. He's going to tell her the truth. Them cords is cut. We ain't not we're not gonna be together we i probably won't see you neither so now that must be somebody without a biological child that must be her kid right because we don't condone leaving motherfucking kids fatherless bro like we don't condone that, but like that's why I told y'all a long time ago, it's gonna be real hard if this person is biologically having kids with somebody else because that that baby mama finna be on point with the, the recklessness. But this is a certain somebody that has raised a child with a karmic that is leaving this whole situation. Damn, somebody arguing or something right now? Let me know if my color was completely different before I started this video, cause. Something ain't right. Um, for a fearless love, he's saying fuck it all. I, I, he, somebody got their eyes on the prize, baby. They just got their eyes on the prize. Fuck it all. He's about to harvest. Cause the lust, the lust is so sacred. They're cutting the cords again. He cutting the cords to a family. Look at the baby mama, bitter as shit. The kids looking like, where the hell you going? I'll be out. I'm finna go give me some cigarettes. <sighs> that motherfucker ain't coming back, bitch. That's exactly how it's finna go down, too. Ooh, I heard it. Yes. He he blames the karmic for being in this entire situation, but you also have to remember that you chose this person. You lusted after this person. You wanted this person. You thought the grass was greener always, even before you met Divine Feminine. But those signs, kept they kept showing you different signs. Somebody, they kept showing you different signs and they just kept telling you this ain't your person. This ain't it. Learn these lessons and move on. But you wasn't Divine then, so they had to send you your twin, twin flame. Somebody's 34, 43, 25, 52, 26, 62. I just keep looking at this goddamn 34. 34 is real significant. God damn. Some 62. Okay. <clears throat> Look. That somebody had to get sent a divine counterpart to wake up because it wasn't happening with this karma. This karma had you under illusions that this is what you were supposed to do. Be a family man. Be a working man. That's not what it is. You don't have to work all your goddamn life, all fucking life. You don't have to do that. You don't have to slave. If you, you, This person has a business entrepreneurship that karmic does not. She don't understand why can't he just work. Somebody is really, really creative and can't put their creativity out to this motherfucker because he's in this karmic situation. Is that going to make you any money? Are you going to post the way you're supposed to post? Bitch, maybe if you fucking his muse, but that's not what you're supposed to do. Divine Feminine is his muse. This is, I'm talking about two business owners now. Something has been awoken inside of another divine masculine through divine feminine because maybe you got your own business, you 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 create things, you sell on Etsy. I'm hearing something like that. This person be stalking your Etsy page, bitch. He be looking at your reviews and so proud of you. This, hold on. Okay. Wildflower, the rain fall down. Look, this person is so in love, and I'm getting divine feminine is so in love as well. Somebody is hype right now. I need to call. Is this sexual? No. No. Arguing? Fighting? The fuck? We're not talking about that. This is a. This going to be a, a, a cute reading. I'm going to do the raggedy bitches next. Um. Oshun. Has she been working with this meth? Yes. I heard a yes. He gives her offerings. He's trying to find his way. I got chills on that. God damn. Okay, Oshun. Hey. I love her. <laughs> Look. Um. I think Katish, Katesh is allowing him to embrace his femininity. Two of these energies need to collide to have a harvest of fearless love. Because the sacred lust is going nowhere. 
It's, it's just not going nowhere. Miracles are bound to happen. With Oshun's luck and, 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 and Harvest and everything that she's giving you the tools to. He started wearing yellow or he wants something yellow. But he figures he already wears gold. So that's yellow enough because she probably told him gold is just fine. Maybe get her some yellow flowers or something. Damn, I'm all up in his business, huh? As per usual. Look, celestial alignment with these miracles. The miracle that's happening is a celestial alignment. He is getting celestial aligned. The alchemy within the sacred lust is going nowhere. The alchemy is strong. This motherfucker doing love spells. On the lust, he, he wants you to come in first. That's only because he's in fear right now. He were right now. He going to wake up and he going to be like, there's no more fear around me. I'm going after my feminine. I'm about to message her, pop up something. And he's just going to do it. And that's going to be the best decision of his life because he knows she wants him to. Deep down inside, he's being insecure because he feels like she doesn't want him after the things that he's done to her. Given, there will be a conversation of what the fuck you've done, what the hell she's did, because there's not just one party doing shit. It was both of y'all. Both people were toxic to awaken one another. Okay? And whatever toxic is to you, toxic could be divine feminine giving divine masculine money all the time without even receiving any type of love or commitment. That's toxic. You're giving it to somebody, you're a people pleaser. You keep giving it to them and they're not even giving you anything. That's toxic. That's toxic. Pinpoint blank. Sometimes y'all misconstrue toxic with literally a karmic. Or, you feel me? No, no, no. Toxic is toxic, baby. But a karmic, there's no misconstruing that. A karmic is toxic within its whole self. You just have toxic characteristics and traits that you need to change to, 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 to become more divine or to become the divine that you're supposed to be when you got here on this fucking earth. Because that's what you wanted to experience. You want to experience every single you said. I've seen a video on TikTok, but see, but see I've been saying this shit all along. Remember, I, I told y'all I say a lot of shit and don't know the. Um, I know the description still, but I don't know their literal word sometimes or the literal whole definition of it. Baby, I've been telling y'all that y'all choose these soul contracts even with the karmics you choose. Now, for people that have been following me ever since I started this journey when I had fucking two subscribers. Do you see the storyline? Of how much knowledge I'm dropping at one time. Because it all adds up. I never told y'all in the beginning that you choose these karmics. Why would I tell you that? We're not on that level to, for you to receive that. Now that you're on this frequency to receive that. You actually told this bitch too to wake up. You see what I'm saying? So I'm dropping. I got chills on that. I'm dropping shit. I'm dropping knowledge. That I don't even know that I have in me at these specific timelines. Therefore this is my soul contract. And I'm going to help every last one of y'all. That's just what it is. And I'm also experiencing... Some things at the same time as you. I'm telling you. I'm, I'm telling y'all. I'm telling y'all. Look, I will never come to y'all and be like, yeah, I know it all. Bitch, I know it all. But, like, I got to awaken at 1333 on the clock. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Don't ever be listening to somebody. Yeah, I know it all. I did it all. Listen to me. I'm 54. I'm a high priestess. Baby, all that studying in the world won't compare you to a newborn soul. That's on top of all of y'all. That that shit don't matter. That shit is a monetary game. You mean to tell me you gonna teach me what the fuck I already know that's inside of me to awaken? You gotta be initiated. It will, no, I don't. My team told me a long time. No, 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 no let's just get this shit straight. Cause why the fuck am I even talking about this? Because somebody mad at that high priestess in my name. I'm finna shut your shit down right now. I don't never just channel for nothing, baby. I don't never just talk for nothing, baby. Do I need to be initiated, team? No. No, I don't. Show me a try again if I don't need to be initiated. Thank you. Thank you so much. No, I don't. No, I don't. I'm telling y'all, the information is within y'all. Whatever your soul contract is, baby, if you was meant, because maybe you are a, a newly high priestess. I've been doing this for you for thousands of years, according to my records. Maybe you're a new, newly high priestess. 
But see, some of y'all know I don't need to be initiated. So why the fuck you on my shit? Don't get out, get away from me. Get away from me. Show yourself so I can block you. Anyway, why if you chose your soul contract to be initiated by a um a person that is in EFA and all that other shit, and you needed to do 10 years of initiation, baby, that was your soul contract. I came to this motherfucker lit already. I don't give a fuck what titles y'all got, how many years of experience y'all got. I can read your ass and I can tell you something that you ain't never heard before. You see what I'm saying? Some things are monetary gain, y'all. And I know, I understand it's a tradition and all that other shit, but what did I tell you? That shit is toxic. I'm breaking all generational things. It comes from a culture, yes. It's from African spirituality, yes. But baby, what if that shit is toxic? Some of them people, they be going to like Haitian, Haiti to get initiated in voodoo. And it's already in you to do. I don't know who I'm speaking to, but baby, you need to do some research, okay? Because just because you go to Haiti, which I would love to go to Haiti. I, I would love to go to Haiti. Don't get me wrong. But not to be taught anything. Maybe to be taught a couple of more things, but not to be taught who I already am. Y'all get what the fuck I'm saying now. The information is already in you. And I've I actually always wanted to go to Haiti like, and just get read by another high priestess of a voodoo high pri i just it's just exciting to me and i want you know i would love to have gained more knowledge of something that i don't know yet because that's all it is you just don't know it yet so you go to a person just like a reader you go to a person to know what you don't know yet because you're not giving it time to pass so therefore she's going to tell your future she's going to tell you why you in this energy because you're not giving it time to pass for you to figure it out on your own introspection bitch y'all get what i'm saying when i say what i say and i know it's our tradition but baby I think some of that shit is just to kind of beat down who you really are. Because what if you go to somebody? Somebody been thinking about this. This this took a total turn. Spirit, is this going to help somebody? Okay, fuck it. Somebody took a whole turn and said, how can I call myself a high priestess or a, a, a Ifa devotee? A, a, a devote, oh, okay, you a she. Devotee. And I haven't even been through the cycles like that older woman told me. First of all, fuck her and what the fuck she talking about. She see the power in you. She going to try to beat you down and say you need to be a devotee for 12 years. While meanwhile, she making her motherfucking money and she doing her shit because she just spent 20 years being a fucking high priestess. Uh, fuck all that. Fuck all that. Don't stop going to people like that because they see the power in you and they see what you can do. Oh, you need to be doing this for 12 years before you think you can call yourself a high priestess. No. You you tell that bitch, you better take it up with the, the, the soul contracts I signed. Don't tell me no shit like that because you know my power. You see my power. You just don't want me better be better than you. Now, that's going to help. Who the fuck that's going to help? Anyway, I'm here clapping and cheering. I'm here to break all these fucking curses. I don't give a fuck how y'all feel about it because y'all conditioned. Look, I got a motherfucking notification from Prosper Goddess, bitch. Must be something I need to... Uh, uh, watch but that's an own notification and i'm not even subscribed to her i'm not even like i think i'm subscribed but i, I mean not the notifications and if i'm not subscribed i'm not subscribed but I, I do watch her shit but look every time i get these motherfucking uh notifications from people that i'm not subscribed to or i i don't hit the notification button on because i don't have no notifications on if it come through it come through that's how i know my team is sending me the right video and that's gonna help somebody else too you subscribe to their shit of course support but if you really want to know a video is for you, for your right path, take off the notification button. That's just me. Somebody may get mad at that and blame, why are you taking it to the notification? Because that's how they really know if the message is for them or not. If they get notified for all of the stories, one minute a man is in love, you, in love with you, the next minute he don't like you. Now you're confused. That's why y'all be in the comments like, wait, I thought you said last week, No. If you truly want to know what's for you, let your spirit team send it to you. And if they're a real reader, if they're somebody that's really here to help like Prosper Goddess, bitch, she probably ain't going to give a fuck about you. No, she, no, I don't think she will. As long as you get that goddamn message. And that's what I do. My messages come to me when they're supposed to come to me. Period. Because I'm going to be on the right motherfucking track. <laughs> okay? Look, anyway, that's going to help somebody out too because you're getting real confused. On each of these messages and it's not the reader's fault it's you and your energy oh this story for me this story for me this story for me it's a way for your spirit team to actually send you stories you got to ask them can you please send me things that are good for me and my healing and what i need to know right now boom they'll do it bitch i promise you 
I didn't even ask my spirit team, but I'm grateful for that. They just sent, sent me videos when I'm in certain moods. I'm sending in certain energies. Who else do that? It's no shade to the reader, but I want the correct messages. Not saying the other ones is wrong, but a bitch, I own my same frequency. That's what I want. Um, but see, the frequency I'm that I own now, I know that a certain title or a certain vibe in a video, it's not for me. So I'll just be like, okay, this ain't for me. But the ones that's learning and doing baby steps, I think that'll really help you. Okay? Because you all in the comment section on whoever video. But you said last week that he, you are, oh, child, you are making every story fit, baby. And spirit say with spirit say we're gonna continue with the rest of this love story but i'm trying to really help y'all for real for real i know y'all can feel my energy in these videos i don't just give you the story and say fuck it no 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 when something needs to be said about something i try to really help i do that's why the channeling is all over the place because it's real and it comes from a place of people be confused as fuck they be looking for answers and i'm here to give it to you and it be in the most randomest rays because we just was talking about a dude in love. Now, I'm just really trying to hear to help y'all for real. So listen to what needs to be listened to and try to figure out what path you on. Because what if you really don't need to be uh, uh, going to a fucking high priest for 12, 10 years being a devotee. And then the shit you already learning is within yourself, baby. Come on. It's the soul contract you chose now. Or you just you just who you are. Just like me for thousands of years. You're just who you are. You never really know. That's why you have to figure yourself out. Somebody is so confused. Therefore, your twin flame is confused. There's a desire to know who you are. You need to soul forgive. And I got chills on this. You need to know that you are worthy. First of all, the reason why your twin is running... It's because he don't even feel the frequency that you're on as far as receiving mode. Now the song in the background playing. You wishing to find out who you are. Baby, you won't have reunion until 2027 is what I heard. And don't say, oh, fuck. That's a long time. No, it's not. It's time for you to get your shit together. It's time for you to know that you, you 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 have a desire and worthiness to figure out who you are and to so, so, so forgive yourself because you in a mode of he ain't shit, she ain't shit, so then you ain't shit. It's a it's a it's a it's a one on one thing. This energy that I'm reading now has nothing to do with this in love of divine masculine. He don't even know you. He knows you, but he don't even know you because you don't even know yourself. So when you yell at him, so when you mad at him, so when you like, fuck this twin flame shit, woo, 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 it's because you don't know who you are. You ain't even forgave yourself, let alone forgive your other soul. I'm just speaking real shit. This is from childhood. Look at this baby crying like a motherfucker. Why don't you open your eyes and inner child healing? This baby looking right at you. Are you going to pay attention to me? Are you going to help me? Because I am you. This song is for you. Make up with you on yourself. Soul forgiveness is for real. So you can have the desire to what? To what? Because these goddesses is coming through. The message is a message. They said, fuck that man right now. Not, not like that. But like this. No. Somebody need to wake up. The desire to speak your truth and who you are. You've been betrayed so many times. That's why you are out of alignment. You see where that landed on? You are not in alignment. You have been betrayed, baby girl. It is time. This may not resonate for all because I'm getting a black female. And black is just a color. So aboriginal. But for y'all, until y'all, you know, black. So look, you could be like me, African American, whatever the hell that means, right? Um, but you're definitely a brown skin girl. I keep hearing brown skin girl. Brown skin girl. It's time for you to wake up, little baby. You got so much power in you. 
You have oh, I got chills, and then you got so much power in you. You have no idea. Your favorite color is blue, and it's the reason why your favorite color is blue. Look at all this blue, 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 blue. Look at all this damn blue. Wake up. It's time for you to wake up. And it's time for you to forgive yourself so you can be worthy of either moving on to the things that you need to. Now, I'm going to get back on this uh, this other love situation. And this, this, this is what it is. Spirit said, this is just what it is, bro. It's time for you to... Sh oh, my God. I'm done. I'm done. Look, blue, I'm done. Awaken so you can shine. So you can understand your motherfucking soul contract. And it ain't falling behind nobody that want to charge you a thousand and fifteen hundred dollars just to what the fuck is a thousand whatever y'all know what the fuck i'm talking about just to figure out who the fuck you are they see the power in you and they make you want to be below them that's that's out now i'm not saying all of them motherfuckers do that no i'm saying literally the person that you're going to or you want to go to they see the power in you they don't they ain't trying to help you they're trying to halter you they're trying to halt you because you true epitome of al al alchemy you're a master manifester you can do whatever the fuck you put your mind to. You just need to awaken. And I'm here to help awaken your ass. Because ain't no way in hell. You the motherfucking goat. Psh, bye.